Do you remember being a kid? I do. Vividly. I love being a kid. Being a kid was the best. What made me think about being a kid again is uh, I found this Twitter account called uh, Kids Without Internet. I saw this and I was like, this takes me back. You get a friend to jump at the same time and then you get more air and you go ridiculously high and you just feel like you're going to actually get the fucking move. Damn! Oh, and then he died. Um, anyway, one of the things I used to do is I'd, I'd get a surfboard at the top of my nan's stairs and me and my brother would just sit on it and not think, oh, I don't think it could go wrong. Let's just sit on it and go down the stairs until we plummet and fucking die. It was worth it. <laughs> uh, this is this is relatable. We've, we've all been here, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Here's one. Like, just, just finding a tyre. Is there a kid in there or not? If it was me, I'd put myself in there and then I'd get my friends to push me down the hill. But like, just finding rubbish and making it entertaining. <laughs> you can't tell me we've not all been there. We have. Don't tell me you've not brought a horse home. There's another account called Kids Are Fucking Stupid and it's, it's true. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> oh my God, I wish that happened to me. I, I actually want that to happen. That'd be great. <laughs> Fucking cursed image. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's a cursed image. No thanks. I thought I'd ask you what some dumb shit you used to do as a kid. Um, I asked this back in January, January the 4th. No comment. Um, have hope for the future. I'm sorry. Shat in a urinal. I didn't like this, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna retweet it too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think shitting in the urinal is sort of like it's like when you look over a cliff and you're like I could I could kill myself I could throw myself over it it's like when you see a urinal you're like I, I could shit in it I could there is nothing there's physically nothing stopping me from putting my pants down and shitting in the urinal when I was about five we went to Finland my dad for whatever reason told me under no circumstances should I lick that sign over there to a five-year-old child I licked said sign and my dad and mum <laughs> spent 20 minutes trying to remove my tongue from a road sign in the Arctic Circle. Wow. I like to imagine they've got like um, a, a snow shovel, I think. <laughs> One of these, but for your tongue <laughs> to get off a sign. Wow. Well, we've, I mean, we've all been there, really. I mean, it's so relatable. I tried sucking my own dick. <laughs> nice. Something I absolutely used to love as a kid. Uh, Beyblades. Yeah. Oh, it gives me such a feeling. Like my, my I don't know. There's something in my heart when I see this. What is that colour? That is such a nostalgic colour. Can you, I don't know, does that make sense? Look, there's, there's Dragoon. That was the main, the main boy. Look at that. Are you seeing that? Are you, does anyone else? Right, come on. You know what I'm on about. Just seeing that again. You haven't seen that in like 20 years. Beautiful. Oh my God, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I accidentally flushed my friend's Beyblade down the toilet once. While my brother was on the toilet, it was a, Context. My brother was having a poop on the toilet and then my neighbour came in with his new Beyblade and we both go into the toilet while, while my brother is still having a crap and we just sit there and he's showing my brother the new Beyblade and I don't know how but it ends up between my brother's legs and plunging into the toilet and then... I, how, does, how did that happen? Was it a dream? <laughs> my brother runs off to try and find like rubber gloves to like scoop it out with and I, I look at there and I'm like Mate, you don't want your Beyblade with poo on it. And then I thought, I know, I'll flush away the poo. But I didn't think that will flush away also the Beyblade. So I flushed and it all went. And then it was only after I was like, oh, yeah, I'm really fucking stupid. And I just felt guilty for like 17 years. Um, moving on. I was quite shy as a kid and didn't have much luck with the ladies. And I, I think, I, I don't like being laughed at when I'm not in control of why I'm being laughed at. Which is why I don't like dancing because I feel like everyone's watching me and I don't know what I'm doing and I hate it, I hate it, I hate it so much. So the thinking behind this is, I always wanted one of these because I didn't want to be laughed at for being a bad kisser because I always wanted to just practice kissing it. So I was thinking when it did come around, I would know how to kiss, not this one. This one's fucking cursed. There's no, I, I don't know how to transition into other things, but I just want to talk about stuff. Right, water pistols. Water pistols were like the coolest thing. It was a status thing. If you had this kind of water pistol, Get out of here, come on. Get out. If you had this kind of water pistol, 
Okay, you're like, you're you're getting there. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah, there we go. If you had like a pump one, if you had a pump, you're like, you're top tier, right? You're definitely top tier. You can be as cool as this kid, right? Look, you can get a fucking Fortnite shotgun water pistol. Uh, where's the one I... Oh my god, you can get a bazooka! <laughs> what? What? Amazing. If you had this one, all the girls would be wet. All of them. Quite literally. Because you've got this, like, reloadable mag thing. You can buy more of these, and you can attach it onto your belt, so you can reload. And it is the coolest thing known to man. Again, I don't know how to transition, right? But if you called your teacher, mum, fucking war crime. That was a war crime, and you're going to the gulag. I'm sorry, but you are. You've lost all respect. No one likes you anymore. No one will talk to you for that entire day, at least. A few more things that we need to cover, but they require going outside. So fortunately for you, I've already recorded it, so roll the tape. If you were a kid, which path would you choose? A or B? Who do you think made these little paths here? Huh? Who do you think made these paths? Do you think it was adults? Huh? Like You're like this tall, right? and you climbed up that thing, and then you look around here and you're like, oh, okay, this is a jungle, right, this is epic. And then you come through here. Like, you are king of the world. Literally king. Tanya, what, what did you do when you were a kid? I put nail varnish on a lizard. Put nail varnish on a lizard? Um, Not the answer I was expecting. If you were a kid in this park, right, and there were multiple other kids, you secure this fort. and then you stay here for about an hour. It is drummed into us as a species to mark territory, to not leave the women and children behind. So as men, we have to climb trees and secure our position in, uh, in society. So whoever could climb the highest in the tree was the alpha male. That is how you distinguish alpha male. That's why I am. Anthony. Tonya, did you ever climb a tree as a girl? You did? They called me a monkey. They called you a monkey? I can do it if I want to do, but I'm a lady so I don't. Okay? Okay. That's what society tells you. Tonya, you're the best monkey I've ever seen. In terms of survival, children learn from a young age that they need to kill things to survive, to eat food and to attract females. And that is why young boys and sometimes adult men can be seen carrying sticks. We need to find a stick. This is very important. We need to find a stick. Do kids still play with sticks? Especially boys. Do boys still play with sticks? <sighs> the boy who lived, come to die. No, okay, that's fine. No, it's, a, it's a bit too big, that one. We need like the right shaped stick. See that? Oh, that. Too thin. What can you do with that? Nothing. The girth? Nah. This one. It's almost like you can picture yourself on a beach, you know? Like a pirate. Aye, it be me, Pirate F Power. Didn't that feel good? That felt really good. Um, so for the other stick, it's very... How far away are you, Tonya? Catch up. So now this. Yeah. Boys, no. Boys know what this is right now. Boys know, only boys know this. Name one girl that knows this. You know, you can. Something universal that I know every child in every part of the whole world has done. They've got an action man and they've attached a bag to him and they've thrown it off something high and thought, I know, he's gonna parachute and it never works. We'll see about that. Not gonna work, is it? It's not gonna work. I have never ever owned an action man with clothes on. Never, it's not possible. Let's try it out. Ready? Yeah. It worked, did it? Hmm. 
What should we do about that? You need a little picking. There are people here. Maybe from here, aren't they? Not from yeah, there. that makes sense, doesn't it, Tanya? You are, you are the smart one in this relationship. I am. Oh my god, you did it! Yes! Thank you. Oh, I'll cut his trousers and everything. Hey. <laughs> you know, throw it again. Is this a joke to you? Oh my god, it works! Ah, there we go. All was well that end as well. Um, something else I thought about trying now that I'm an adult, you know, now that I am an adult, I can sort of do what I want. Um, Shit, there's a light right there. Oh, you can put your hand in there. You okay? How's it? Do I need to make conversation with it? I just need to... It's a bit awkward now that I've actually got a girlfriend who I could go and kiss. Um... Okay. Wow. Um, thank you for watching this video. Uh, you know, like, leave a, leave a like, you know. Well, I hope you enjoyed and related to most of that. Over and out.